For many years, Ghana's economy has relied heavily on the agri sector as 65% of the population are into some form of farming. They produce different varieties of food for the populace. Sadly, the agri sector has seen very little improvement in terms of farming machinery and processing plants. Traditional food processing methods have, for several years, remained the main modes of food processing in Ghana. These traditional modes have many limitations and health hazards. Many gari processes in Esui, in the Techiman North District, for example, have contracted illnesses due to their constant exposure to the heat and fumes from the fire used in processing gari. We sometimes fall sick as a result of the excessive heat. We sometimes have to visit medical offices to get medicines for our body. Also, as a result of the outmoded and bad food processing, most food items are either consumed in their raw state or exported in their raw state without any value addition. Several tons of unprocessed food stuff gets rotten and in the process leaving farmers in Ghana among some of the poorest people. Many opportunities for employment are lost in this process. The Esui Agro Processing Company, a project funded by the International Fund for Agricultural Development and implemented by SNV, GASIP and NRI at Esui in the Techiman North District of the Bunahafu region, has currently trained cassava farmers and processors from across the country to introduce more efficient food production and processing methods, particularly for Gari, an important staple food processed from cassava. The project aims at the creation of a best practice model for gari processing and focuses on the SUA gari processing enclave in the Techmainov district. It was conceived as a climate change and poverty mitigation intervention and has been implemented by a consortium of partners including SNV Netherlands Development Organization, Natural Resource Institute of the Greenwich University UK and Ghana Agricultural Sector Investment Project with funding from IFA. It's a game changer. It's not like previous projects that were supply driven. This is purely demand driven. We can intervene. For example, if we put up a warehouse somewhere, that warehouse, uh, before we put it down, the owners should be there, the operational plan should be there, how profitable it will be, how it will help the community should be. So uh, when we put up an uh, infrastructure, but there are certain times in the past we put up a warehouse and we are now looking at who will operate it, who will own it. That is not what Gassi is about. Before we put a warehouse, the owners, the operational modalities must be clear before we can put it there. And therefore, when we put it there, it will become operational immediately. It will become a white elephant. Uh, we have the biogas plant. We have roast, mechanics roaster and uh, what do you call it, a warehouse where all the product or finishing product can be stored. This is 100% bio biogas. Our young men and women always migrate to the cities because of unemployment. When this gyre processing factory starts, all this will stop since we will all be gainfully employed. The Sui Agro Processing Company is also a center for good practices in gari production. Under this project, a new chapter is being opened in the gari processing value chain as it seeks to 
mechanized gas production through the utilization of gas generated from a 120 kilowatt gas creation plant. This will avoid the unsightly pile of cassava waste around the Gary processing vicinity in the city, as the cassava pails will now be used as feedstock to the plant and will moderate the negative effects of Gary processing on the environmental conditions of the area. It will also completely remove the deleterious health effects of smoke inhalation, which characterizes traditional Gary processing settings where traditional and inefficient stoves are utilized. The factory's operation will save us costs and protect the environment since we won't be using firewood anymore. It will also protect the processes from frequent illness. We are very happy to have this company because the manual processing of Gary is very common. To meet this need, the project is offering agronomic training to some hundred farmers within the catchment area. This is intended to ensure that supplies within the area are able to meet the levels required by the plant. Here, both cassava farmers and processors are introduced to internationally accepted standards of producing and processing foods. Mostly you find that the farmers, uh, because they are planting haphazardly, they are not even sure the number of uh, stands per, per acre or per hectare. Uh, so, but with the, with the improved methods of planting, or the one meter by one meter uh, planting uh, methodology, they're able to understand or they're able to estimate uh, the quantity of uh, the quantity of stands that they have within a unit area, and that helps them to be able to even plan and monitor their fields and all. The utilization of this new technology in Gary processing in the Sway enclave is expected to more than double Gary production from the current production levels of 3 tons a day to about 7.5 tons a day. This will require the processing of about 22.5 tons of cassava a day compared to 9 tons previously. It is expected that when these best practices are adopted, it will improve the income levels of cassava farmers and processors. Staff should maintain a high degree of personal hygiene and cleanliness always. I say, you ma, you have no idea no, na you better you have every fin or how be a mo. In order for the farmers to be able to keep records of their activities and devise means of making profits, they were taken through a one-day business development and entrepreneurship training. This training has really taught me that farmers can also invest. This training has taught me the necessity of customer service. We are environmental scientists. We've been contracted by SNV to carry out environmental impact assessment on the gasification plant at the Asui uh, Gary Processing Center. We also develop an environmental and safety management plan for the center. And then we will have training for the workers, both the farmers and the processors. So we are only here for blood sampling so that we can go and test them and declare them medically fit or otherwise. Based on which the, the results that uh, they can be certified by the municipal health directorate or the environmental health unit of the municipal assembly as uh, certified processes at the ACA processing factory, Gary processing factory. The medical screening was undertaken as part of the requirements of the Food and Drugs Authority for certifying and licensing food products outfits and manufacturers.
the use of the new gari processing plant will present an important technological shift in food processing in the country. From the training, I have learned how to hygienically preserve my gari so as to make it safe for consumption. I have also learned that we must keep our gari processing equipment clean and keep records on all transactions. If an agri-business firm says that, look, I'm producing uh, ethanol from cassava, I'm producing starch from cassava, so I'm working with 30, 40 uh, farmer-based organizations producing cassava. Now, we will do due diligence and come up with the support mechanism for the FBOs. We want to make them profitable, we want them to increase their productivity and quality. We want them to cultivate the varieties that this uh, processor wants so that they can get ready market. With the introduction of the Gari processing plant at the Sui, consumers of Gari can now be assured of safer, healthier and better quality Gari. Our target group is the small scale resource poor farmer particularly the youth and women. But to get there, they must be pulled along by the private sector, the businesses. So we have agribusiness linkages. We have to link small farmers to agribusinesses who have the market, who have the technology, and who can even provide certain services for the small farmer. Our aim is to ensure that through agribusinesses, we can reach the small farmer with technology, with equipment, services, and the market. Given the increased levels of production, branding and promotional activities are also ongoing under this project with the involvement of the Food and Drugs Authority, which seeks to license the facility as well as certify the individual processes in order that they could package their products and get higher value for it. Throughout the world, this is now the new way of processing food and the Sui Agro Processing Company with its Gari processing plant are showing that Ghana will not be left behind in global best practices. The plant also presents many of the residents of the Techiman North District with an opportunity to become gainfully employed. The project is intended generally to increase the levels of income generated within the Gary Processing Valley chain, as well as ensure that significant levels of employment is generated for the youth and women within the area. Two weeks after being introduced to the improved agronomic practices, the farmers could not hide their joy after seeing the difference in quality and rate of germination between the cassava planted using the traditional method and those that were planted using the improved agronomic practices. <laughs> It is also expected that the high rate of teenage pregnancy in the area, which has largely been attributed to female reliance on their male counterparts for economic survival, will also end because the women and girls would become economically empowered. The unemployment in this village has led to the rampant teenage pregnancy as we depend on men for economic survival. This has led to malnutrition in our children, and I believe when the factory begins operations, it will bring an end to this problem. Teenage pregnancy is of the increase here, um, because nowadays we've been seeing a lot of um, teenagers, more especially girls, carrying babies and then some of them being pregnant. And this is due to the fact that the parents of these teenagers are lacking jobs. And due to this, they are not able to provide the needed support for their teenage girls. And this compels the girls to indulge in other activities that will bring them money to cater for themselves. And I think that has led to the increase of that teenage pregnancy in this community. The cassava is one of their predominant occupations. So if they get 
um, a factory for that. I think the raw the raw materials that will be provided by the farmers, that is the parent of these teenage girls, they will, get, they will be able to get enough money to, I mean, to cater for their girls. And that will help reduce that situation. Generally, it's a poverty elevation project, but that also seeks to mitigate the environmental effects of the processing activities within the area. The one district, one factory policy by the government it's also bound to benefit from this project.